Stoke storm has erupted on Capitol Hill after the first ever transgender woman was elected to Congress. Sarah McBride is the representative for Delaware and is a biological man. Her election has some in Washington very concerned about the bathrooms that she will be using to the point that Representative Nancy Mace introduced a bathroom bill to stop biological men from using women's bathrooms and locker rooms. And allow biological men into women's private spaces. I will stand in the brink and stand in the way of anyone on the radical left who thinks that it's okay for a penis to be in a women's locker room or a bathroom or a changing room. Hell no. Spe I'm not going to stand for it. And the uh, Speaker said it would be in the House Rules Package. If it's not, I'll be ready with a motion, uh, a privileged motion to force a vote on this. This is not okay. Nancy Mace doubled down on this, saying she is protecting the rights of women and girls. A radical left is calling me an extremist for being a feminist, fighting to protect the rights of women and girls. If being a feminist makes me an extremist or a bigot or a monster, I am totally here for it. I don't think that this is an instance where you can actually say that this is a level of feminism. It's not. Because I think that feminism has changed thanks to Democrats because Democrats are no longer the party of moderation. They're not the same Democrats that they were in the 80s and the 90s. In 2024 and beyond, Democrats are radical, extreme. First of all, I don't even know how this person wound up getting elected based off of diversity, equity, and inclusion. Maybe I have to do a little bit of research and I'm okay with that. But we're going to just deal with the issue at hand. And the issue at hand is should men be in women's bathrooms? And Nancy Mace is standing on business. I remember Nancy Mace as the person that held, it was one of those black leaders accountable because he was in her, in her DMs. Y'all know who it is. Let me know inside of the chat. While you're in the chat, make sure you tap into the Patreon. Link is in the description. Also, Teach Henley. 40% off your first order plus 20% off for life is awesome. Uh, and then get your tickets to kick it, with me, kick it with me in person December 14th in Detroit. Uh, that's going to be a great show. I'm looking forward to seeing y'all there. But I do remember Nancy Mace, and I don't remember the guy that she exposed. Uh, Michael Eric Dyson? No, not Michael Eric Dyson. Um, I don't remember who she exposed. The point is, is... I don't look at this as a form of feminism that is toxic. If they are labeling this feminism, I don't label it the same way as this. I think that this is just straight up traditional values. This has nothing to do with feminism. It has everything to do with making sure that men are men and women are women biologically how they were born. And that's the bathroom that you should use. Now, if you decide that you want to put on a wig and some makeup and call yourself a girl, then that's your prerogative. You can do whatever it is that you want to do. I am an advocate for free speech. But I am not an advocate for making sure that other people have to be uncomfortable because you decided that you want to dress differently than whatever your biological gender is. And this is where I think the war is on our culture and why we ultimately voted for Trump in the first place and voted for Republicans and voted for traditionalism is because it's, it's become too extreme and they're pushing their morals and their values onto you, which is made up, in my opinion, in the first place. Because I'm going to fight like hell for every woman and every little girl across this country to protect you and keep you safe. And she returned to the press to slam the radical left for their attempt to erase women. Not be in the locker room, should not be in changing rooms, should not be in our restrooms either. And I'm going to be standing in the brink, standing in his or her way, putting a stop to this insanity and this nonsense. She doesn't get a say. This is about real women and women's rights. And the far left, radical left, they want to erase women and women's rights. And I'm not going to let them. But not everyone in Washington, D.C. is so brave to tell the truth. Speaker Mike Johnson continued the woke rhetoric, refusing to say whether Sarah McBride is a man or a woman. Mr. Speaker, is freshman-elect Sarah McBride a man or a woman? Hmm. Um, look, I'm not going to get into this. We, we welcome all new members uh, with open arms who are duly elected representatives of the people. I believe it's a it's a, a, a command that we treat all persons with dignity and respect. We will, and I'm not. And that's a fair statement because he's just recognizing humanity. But the fact that this question has to be asked in the first place, that has nothing to do with making sure that citizens and the people in the United States of America benefit from whatever policies and legislation has happened in Congress and the House and in the presidency is an issue. We're so distracted with things that don't mean anything that it then don't add any value into our lives. And this is what we got to deal with on a regular basis. It's stupid.
I'm not going to engage in, uh, in, in silly debates about this. Um, there's a concern Smart about man. uses of restroom facilities and locker rooms and all that. This is an issue that Congress has never um, had. And to I'm not the same as him. I'm not the same as him. See, I'm the type of person that would just say, hey, listen, it is what it is. This is my opinion. But that's the reason why I'm not a legislator. And he is. Addressed before. We're going to do that in deliberate uh, fashion uh, with uh, member consensus on it. And we will accommodate the needs of every single person. After pushback, the speaker did finally come out and clarify his position, which was much more in line with common sense. Hello, everybody. Um, I just want to make a statement for all of you here and be very clear. I was asked a question this morning at the leadership gaggle, and I rejected the premise because the answer is, is so obvious. For anybody who doesn't know my well-established record on, on this issue, let me be unexpected. Well, he's more like me then. Uh, a man is a man, and a woman is a woman, and a man cannot become a woman. That said, I also believe, um, that's what Scripture teaches, what I just said, uh, but I also believe that we treat everybody with dignity. And so uh, we can do and believe that's all those fair. things at the same time. And I wanted to make that clear for everybody because there's lots of questions. But that's where I stand. I've stood there my whole life, and those are facts. Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene doubled down on this, saying that Nancy Mace's resolution doesn't go far enough. Sarah McBride, as he calls himself, formerly Tim McBride, is a biological man. And that is crazy to me. That is crazy. And it's also crazier that we've gotten to the point in society where we've normalized this. But that's just my opinion. He should not be using any of our restrooms in the capitals, um, in the in our office buildings. But Nancy Mace's resolution doesn't go far enough. A resolution is just a statement by Congress saying that Congress disagrees with something. Uh, we need something more binding, and that's what I just brought up at the microphones there in our conference. Is I directly asked uh, Speaker Johnson um, what the men in our leadership are going to do about this because. Um, this, this has to be stopped. America gave a mandate at this election and said, yep. not only are they sure sick did. of the open borders, the invasion, the out of control inflation, uh, foreign wars, but they're sick of the trans ideology being shoved down our throats. And it's an attack on women and children all over the country. Um, I don't think Nancy Mace's resolution does enough. I think we need to do more. That's what I asked Speaker Johnson, and he committed to me in there in the conference that um, that Sarah McBride will not be using our restrooms. And so you can walk your heels right on up the steps to do whatever you want to do. Just don't go into the women's bathroom. Sarah McBride hit back at the controversy, saying Republicans are using the trans issue as a distraction. Look, this is a, a weird and bizarre obsession with trans people on the part of the Republican Party. And I agree with Republican governors who, when presented with the spate of anti-LGBTQ bills passed in state legislatures across the country, said these are solutions in search of a problem. And, and that's what we have to be crystal clear about moving forward. Because whenever you see a politician or a political party focus in on an issue that impacts a handful of people in a handful of places, you have to ask yourself why. Because it sets the precedent for what's to come later, which is one of the reasons why we are having this conversation in the first place. Meaning that we would have never been in a position where we're talking about men and women's sports had we not nipped it in the bud previously, which is why we have to go ahead and deal with it now so that we don't, we don't have no issues later. Y'all opened up Pandora's box and then a bunch of people came in with size 14 shoes and this is why we now discussing it. And the answer to that is they are trying to distract. They nope. are trying to distract from what they are actually doing. But online commentators have slammed the woke ideology that allows biological men to use women's spaces. But it doesn't even mean anything because when you voted this person into office in the first place, you actually supported them and you supported the agenda. Curious as to what you guys think, make sure y'all tap into the Patreon link is in the description and then get your tickets to see me December 14th. We already know about T. Henley. Use discount code Anton, it's gonna be awesome. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace.